Hey guys, this is Khalif, Fat Guy, Skinny Wallet, and I'm here to talk about Planet Fitness. They're at it again. So, first we had the bagels, um, the free bagels for, for members coming into the gym. Then there's a free pizza that they give to people. Um, all the commercials calling anybody with muscles a lunk and, um, you know, saying that they're not welcome at the gym, the alarms that go off when you make any noise or if you drop weight or anything like that, um, you know, and all the videos that you see on YouTube where people are going in doing intense workouts and being kicked out um, by the management, some of them being really rude about it. <clears throat> now, there's a report out that Planet Fitness has removed the squat racks um, from their gyms because other members find them intimidating. I don't know if it's looking at the machine, like the, the, the rack, it looks intimidating, or if it's actually people strapping a few hundred pounds in their back and grunting, you know, and grinding out some of these reps that looks intimidating. I don't know. But they removed the squat racks because they were intimidating. Well, everybody, of course, is up in arms about this, but then... I have to ask the question, what did you expect? I mean, Planet Fitness has made it clear through everything that they've done that they're not servicing that market. I would not be comfortable in a Planet Fitness. I know that. I would be very limited in the things that I can do. But someone who is going from nothing and trying to get into a gym, I think it's perfect. So I don't have a problem with Planet Fitness. They serve a certain population. And they're, they're private businesses. They're here to make money. They found that the the way that they're going to make money is they're going to target people who don't want to walk into a regular gym because they feel ashamed, they feel uncomfortable for whatever reason, they're not sure what they're doing or what to do, so they have the whole circuit training program, you know, set up those machines, and, you know, so they give you a bunch of things, they give you a bunch of amenities, and it's for those people. So when they do something that a strength athlete or a power lifter or whatever doesn't like, why are you... Why, why, like, why are we uh, confused or surprised that they did it? I didn't know they had squat racks in there at all to begin with. Um, but you kind of know you don't go to Planet Fitness if you want to squat a bunch of weight or if you want to do some heavy deadlifts. That Planet Fitness is probably not the place. And you know what? If that's what you want to do and that's the only thing you have close to you, you make do. Um, so I think Planet Fitness is fine because they serve a certain population. And and then looking at from the other side of it, this would kind of the you know, economists in me wants to jump out and say, it's their business. They can do what they want. You know, we can be mad all day, but it's their business. They're providing a service. And if, they, if the service they provide doesn't meet our needs, why are we trying to be their customer? Why are we trying to give them money when they constantly say, we don't want you? Why are you fighting them to say, no, please take my money anyway. Just put back the squat rack and I'll go to you. Here, take my money. Why? They don't want you. They don't want certain people in their gym. So why are we trying to cram into their gym? Um, you know, I feel that way about just about any business. I don't think, you know, we should impose certain things on business in general. But, you know, we'll, I'll save that for uh, a different video if that ever comes up. But um, I am someone who believes in fewer, fewer, fewer rules and regulations for private businesses because they are performing a service. And if you don't like the service they're performing, then leave and go somewhere else or start doing it on your own. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. I don't think Planet Fitness is bad because I think they serve a certain segment of the population. And there's some people who probably would never walk into any gym at all if there wasn't a Planet Fitness near them. And so I'm happy that, that <clears throat> they exist, but I know that if I have a choice, I probably won't go to Planet Fitness. And if I have to go, then I know what to expect already because they made it very clear who's welcome there and who isn't. So stop all the drama. Stop all getting angry and getting frustrated. You know, people going in there with cameras saying, hey, we're going to go and film ourselves doing something against their rules and watch them get mad. And then yell and curse about them because they enforced the rules that you already knew about before you broke them on purpose, on camera, trying to be funny. So, yeah, no problem with Planet Fitness. If you're going to Planet Fitness, great. Keep going until your goals change. And once your goals change, then you go to another gym that fits those goals. I was working out at home for over a year, and then my goals changed. And then finally, I, I had to join a gym because joining a gym was the only way I could fulfill my goals. 
because I couldn't buy the equipment I needed in, in my, and put it in my apartment. So my goals changed, so I had to change the way I worked out and had to change the facility I used. Go to Planet Fitness, your goals change and they don't meet um, your needs any longer. Go somewhere else so you can fulfill your goals. Alright guys, that's enough of my rambling and um, I'll get off my soapbox now. But just stop telling businesses what they need to do and uh, make sure that you're going somewhere that is that is lined up with your goals rather than trying to change them, you need to change yourself. Alright guys.